Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm putting up shelves to put my daughter's cuddly toys on because they take up all the space in her room. So I've already done this one and I thought I'd take the time to show you how to do the other one. So this is it. They're all pretty standard. And you get the box shelf and then it has a bracket inside, metal bracket with two metal dowels which fit into them two holes and then you put a couple of retaining screws in there. Really simple job that most DIYers can do with a small selection of tools. So carry on watching and I'll show you how I put them up. Before I do any jobs like this I always read the instructions just in case there's something out the ordinary um, but it's telling me to put five fixings into the bracket so it's telling me to put a screw either side of the, the metal dowel and then one in the bottom middle hole so if it's telling me to do that then that's what I'll do but I've decided where I want to put it and I put a couple of marks on the outside of where it's going but I need to mark up for the bracket so I've put the bracket back inside the shelf. I'll just measure from the edge of the shelf to the edge of the bracket, which is 240 millimeters. So where I've marked on the wall where the outside of the shelf is, I'll just come in 240 millimeters. A little mark. So I put that mark now and then I can mark off the bracket always making sure that the holes in the metal dowels are facing downwards because the retaining screw will go up into them. So if I offer that up to the mark so that is my reference corner. So you want to get yourself a small spirit level Put it on the bracket and adjust it until it's perfectly level. Then with a sharp pencil, always have a sharp pencil, just draw around the screw holes so to that side, to that side and then one in the middle. Okay, so depending on what your walls are made out of will determine what kind of fixings you're going to be using. So this is a brick wall, so I'm using wall plugs and screws. If you've got a plasterboard wall, then I suggest these plasterboard anchors. Now they're probably one of the strongest fixings you can get for plasterboard and they'd be perfect for shelves. Before you drill into any kind of wall though, you want to make sure that there's no pipes or wires or anything like that behind the wall. If you've got a socket or a switch underneath, then chances are the wires will run directly up the wall or down the wall or horizontally across the wall. But always get a detector and just make sure that there's nothing there. So I'm using a masonry bit in an SDS drill, but a cordless drill with hammer action will do the same job. So I'll put a bit of masking tape on my drill bit, just a little bit deeper than the screws that I'm using. And so I'm not cleaning up a load of dust, I've got the hoover handy as well. So let's get drilling. Now the holes are all drilled, I've simply got to insert a plug into each hole. And 
and then tap them flush with a hammer. Get the bracket. Now with something like this, I always put the center screw in first, just so it's balanced. So also like these ratchet screwdrivers make life a little bit easier. leave it a little bit loose so put them all in and then tighten them all up at the end now that they're all in I can just tighten them all up So now I can put the shelf onto the bracket. And the last thing to do is simply screw in the two retaining screws that come with it. And they just simply screw on underneath. And that's how I put up floating shelves. So a quick and easy job that most DIYers could easily accomplish themselves. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you next time.